Hi everyone, the Summer of Dough Challenge continues with the pocket full of dough and today we're going to talk about Think, Say and Do. It reads as follows. Happiness is when what you think, say and do are in perfect alignment. Recall the last time you were stressed out about something. What caused this? Did you choose not to say no when you were asked to do something you were uncomfortable with? Did you receive the wrong order at a restaurant but ate it anyway? Were you curious about a client's budget but thought it was rude to ask? The stress you feel is caused by not saying what you think. Blair Enns, author of Win Without Pitching, says that if he were king of the world, he would issue a decree. Everyone must say what they think. Stress, therefore, isn't caused by what you say. It's caused by what you don't say. If you're unsure about what the budget or creative parameters are, Don't stay silent. Ask, say, before wrapping up, I wanted to know how will you make a decision on who to work with? Will you decide based on budget, as in lower budget wins? Will creative or something else influence the decision? The reason I ask is because I want to make sure that we answer this as thoroughly as possible. Or try something like, based on our conversation and preliminary understanding of the scope, this project will land between X dollars and Y dollars. How does that sound to you? Are you comfortable with moving forward with this? Avoid the stress, say what you think, then do what you say. This is a nice short uh, tip, especially if you're having what's called an upfront contract with a conversation as you are doing a diagnosis and you have all the facts, you have all the information you need. First of all, positioning questions like asking for permission to say, hey, I want to ask you as many questions as I can so I can get as much context on understanding the project that you want to get done. That way I can give you the more accurate proposal. And then if you have a basic idea and and you can provide them with a number of what it will look like, being able to just to say straight up, hey, you know, based on what I know uh, and in experiences of working with clients like you, I'm probably going to be able to do this project anywhere between X and Y. There are a lot of knowns, but there are also a lot of unknowns And there are a lot of what others call who the hell knows. And those situations, those factors may change the scope of the project. If that comes up, are you comfortable with that engagement or those terms? And just set it up front. That way you don't have to worry about anything that happens down the line inside of the engagement where you find yourself doing more work than what you charged for. uh, Or the customer just starts asking you for things that are out of scope and be able to set that up front. That's huge. Being able to say what you think and and not be afraid of it. It may cause stress and anxiety, but once you practice it and you do it up front, clients will respect you for it and you're going to get charged what you're worth and you're going to be able to accurately do the work that is truly needed to be able to solve your customers' issues. So think, say, do, say what you think, and then do what you say. With that, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.